you ever find yourself nodding along in a conversation with your partner only to realize that you have been barely listening? We've all been there, distracted by our own issues. It's a common problem that most of us have been guilty of, far more than we would like to admit. Hello, I'm Howard and welcome back to Couch Psychology, Life and Love Explained, where we unravel the complexities of life and love in ways that resonate with everyone. Today, we're tackling a crucial aspect of any relationship, having deeper conversations with your partner. In a world full of buzzwords like triggering and love language, it's easy to forget the essence of true connection. These deeper conversations are where you move beyond the day-to-day and into the realm of personal hopes, fears and dreams. They can strengthen bonds or expose the fault lines in a relationship. But why do we shy away from these conversations? Often it's fear. Fear of being vulnerable. Fear of being misunderstood or even fear of discovering that we're not as aligned with our person as we thought. Today's session is designed to to equip you with the tools to not only initiate but also thrive in these deeper exchanges. We'll unpack the psychological barriers that might be holding you back, discuss the strategies to foster openness and provide practical tips to ensure both you and your partner feel heard and understood. And by the end of our session, you'll have a clearer understanding of why these deeper dialogues are so transformative. But make sure you stay until the end of this video when I have a special reveal planned that will change the way you think about communication in your relationships. Let's lean in and get started. your truth and their truth. In every relationship, it's crucial to recognize that both you and your partner have unique perspectives or truths. When conversations dip into deeper waters, acknowledging these differing truths is the first step towards genuine understanding. Imagine a scenario where you feel overlooked because your partner often plans activities without consulting you. Here, your truth might be feeling sidelined or ignored, while their truth could be an assumption that you're flexible and would be happy with any plan they make. To bridge this gap, initiate conversations with a focus on expressing your feelings without accusations and invite your partner to share their intentions and feelings. This approach not only softens defences, but also opens up a pathway to a more empathetic dialogue. By validating each other's experiences true to the individual, you foster a deeper emotional connection and a safer space to explore your relationship more profoundly. This isn't about agreeing on a single truth, but understanding and respecting each other's perspectives, thus enriching your connection. Identifying and expressing love languages. Understanding and speaking your partner's love language profoundly deepens your conversations and your bond. Love languages, the way we express and experience love, acts as a gateway to one's heart and mind. Suppose your love language is words of affirmation, but your partner's is quality time. There there might be a disconnect if you express love with compliments while your partner craves undivided attention. To tackle this, dedicate a conversation to exploring each other's love languages. Ask direct questions like, how do you feel most loved? Or what can I do to make you feel more appreciated? Such questions not only clarify how your partner wishes to be loved, but also shows your willingness to deepen your relationship. This mutual understanding paves the way for more, a more tailored, meaningful interaction that strikes at the heart of what 
each of you truly needs and values. Equally important is navigating triggers together. Discussing triggering topics without setting off alarms can be like navigating a minefield. However, understanding what triggers each of you and why can transform these conversations from potential disasters into opportunities for growth. Start by identifying topics that are sensitive for each of you. Open up about why these topics are difficult and discuss past experiences that might influence your reactions. When a trigger arises, use I statements to express your feelings without blaming, such as saying, I feel anxious when we talk about this because. This approach invites your partner to understand your perspective without feeling attacked. You need to establish a safe word or signal that either of you can use when feeling overwhelmed, which can help pause the conversation before, before it escalates. By consciously navigating these triggers, not only do you avoid misunderstandings, but you also build a framework of patience and understanding that will strengthen your bond and relationship. I know I've spoken on this before, but the role of active listening is so important. Active listening is a cornerstone of deep communication. It's not just about hearing words. It's about fully comprehending and emotionally connecting with your partner's message. During deeper conversations, focus entirely, entirely on what your partner is saying without planning your response. Show that you're engaged by nodding, maintaining eye contact and mirroring their emotions. I mean, genuinely mirroring their emotions. After they've spoken, reflect back on what you've heard to confirm your understanding, such as it sounds like you're saying. This technique not only validates your partner's feelings, but also corrects any misinterpretations immediately, deepening mutual understanding. Active listening shows that you value your partner's thoughts and feelings as much as your own which can dramatically deepen the trust and connection between you. But let's talk about cultivating emotional safety. Creating a safe emotional space is essential for deep conversations. This means building an environment where both partners feel secure enough to be vulnerable without fear of judgment or dismissal. Begin by affirming your commitment to the relationship and to each other's well-being. Make it clear that the purpose of deep conversations is not to criticize or change one another, but to better understand each other and grow together. Whenever your partner shares something personal or difficult, respond with empathy and support rather than solutions or dismissals. Phrases like, I really appreciate you sharing that with me, or I can see why that's hard for you, reinforce emotional safety. Over time, these practices reassure both of you that it's not only safe, but also rewarding to open up and share your innermost thoughts and feelings. Six, challenging conversational comfort zones. Deeper conversations often require stepping out of your conversational comfort zones. This means deliberately moving beyond everyday topics and delving into areas that are potentially uncomfortable, but ultimately rewarding. Start by sharing a personal story or a thought you've never shared before, which can prompt your partner to do the same. Pose open-ended questions that encourage thoughtful responses like, What's something you dream of doing that we've never talked about? Or how do you feel about our future? These questions push both of you to explore new dimensions of your relationship and personal aspirations. By regularly venturing into these new territories, you ensure that your conversations and your relationship remain dynamic and engaging. Each of these steps when practiced sincerely, 
can not only deepen your conversations, but also strengthen your relationship in ways you might never have imagined. So we've traversed the landscape of deep, deep communication and uh, unearthed some tools and insights that can transform the way you engage with your partner. Remember, the goal isn't just to talk more, but to connect more profoundly. Mastery of deeper conversations can fortify your relationship against misunderstandings and conflicts, turning challenges into opportunities for growth. Anyway, before I reveal the special insight I promised, let me encourage you to like, subscribe and comment below with your experiences and insights onto deepening conversations in your relationship. Share this video with someone who could benefit from our discussion today. And now for that reveal. The key to sustaining deep conversations is continuous curiosity about your partner. It keeps the dialogue evolving as you both grow. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to our next session here at Couch Psychology.